Hi everyone, it's Diane of the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and today I'm in my small little greenhouse. I moved all my plants over here and got them out of the big greenhouse because we are very warm here in Iowa. But today on a particular subject I want to talk about hookara, also known as corabels, and why you should be incorporating these plants into your landscape and why I just adore them. And Every year they come out with new introductions of new plants that they're crossing, um, new varieties, and this year I got some really beautiful, beautiful plants. And let me, let's talk about hookara for a minute. Hookara likes a sun to partial shade area. You know, it kind of depends on your area. I like to give my hookara here in Iowa, I like to give them some shade in the afternoon. Otherwise, the leaves seem to get crispy and burnt. Now, some varieties of hookara can stand a little more sun, and some like a little more shade, okay? But it's going to depend on your area and how much heat you get in a season and what, how, how the hookara can, how much they can stand. Now, when you plant hookara, corabels, you do not want to bury the crown, okay? That is where the new addition of foliage will come out. And what is so great about hookara is the foliage. They all flower but the foliage is just gorgeous all season excuse me all season when you got other perennials that flower and then they're done hookara has color all season okay and that is something that i think is really really important to know that the color is always going to be there it doesn't have to be a bloom to enjoy the plant the foliage anything that has foliage color really can stand out in your landscape okay so if you don't haven't had any involvement with hookara corabels, you might want to you know get to the local nursery and find this plant. It is coming. They are crossing it with so many different. There's so many different colors right now that you will. It's just unbelievable. Every year they come out with more, and I'm going to show you a few of mine today. Okay. Okay, so we're going to talk about hookara. I'm going to show you some varieties. And hookara can grow in zones 4 to 9, all right? But these are some really pretty new additions that I had this year uh, for sale. And they're just gorgeous. Uh, many people just love the new color. But here's one that is called hookara encore. Now, this is more of a burgundy color. Now, I want to tell you about hookara. Now, hookara's coloring is going to depend on the lighting. Okay, hookara can change throughout the seasons, and wherever you got it planted, it's going to dictate the color. Here is hookara mint julep. It's more of a limey, silverish color. It's beautiful. It's just a beautiful color. This one's Electra. Now, Electra doesn't look real light in here as far as uh, on the yellow side, but the new leaves are coming out yellow. And that is why, the reason for that is I have them in kind of a partial shaded uh, greenhouse right now. So lighting is important when you plant your hookara. So make sure they at least get some sun part of the day. Okay. The next one, let's see here. We have, we got a hookarella. Now, this is just a little different, but it is in the hookara family, but it's a cross between the hookarella and the hookara. So they are coming out with these, these new species now, the hookarella golden zebra. Now, this one changes throughout the season also, and it's just going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to see it out in the beds. Now, the hookara car caramel or caramel has been out a few years, and this one's more of on the peachy side. And I really love it in the landscape. I hope you can see it in this video. I've kind of got some sun glazing, but this is just a really beautiful, beautiful plant. And the next one is the Hookara Citronelle. This can look a lot like a lot of the other ones on the market now. I know there's a Lime Ricky, but this is Citronelle. This is a golden yellow Hookara. And this one really, really stands out in your landscape. And then we got the, another hookara, a hookarella. It's a cross. This one's called Sweet Tea. Now, this one is just gorgeous. It's got kind of an orangish red foliage. 
The new foliage coming out is orangish red. The old is kind of more of a green, but again, that is because it's in a partial shaded greenhouse. The coloring will change if you get them outside. I have a whole bunch right here. These are some really tiny Purple Palace seedlings. Purple Palace Corabels, they seed. And when they seed, they're not, they do not come true to seed. So you're going to have some greens and you're going to have some darker colors. But I still like them because they give you free plants. And, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so that kind of gives you a little idea of what I'm talking about, the hookera. Now I have many more outside planted in the ground um, that I put in a couple years ago. And one thing about hookera is when you plant them in the ground, make sure you give them, you know, some good well-drained soil um, that's always important do not plant them in heavy soil make sure there's good drainage um, also make sure I like to put mulch around mine you know it keeps the weeds down and also it protects the crown a little bit you don't want to cover the crown though but you kind of want to protect it because sometimes in the winter time in the colder areas they can heave out of the ground a little bit and once in a while you'll lose them because so that just kind of depends on the weather in your area so if, if you're loving the color of hookera and the hookerellas and you think, wow, I that'd be really pretty in my landscape, you're right. I mean, there's nothing like them. Okay, so in closing, I'm, let's go over this one more time. Why you want to plant hookera in your landscape. And let's just talk about this a little bit. Because hookera is, can add color to your landscape all season, regardless if they're blooming or not. Okay? They like to live in zones 4 to 9. They come in an array of different colors, sizes, and shapes. They like to be in a sun to partial shade area, kind of depending on your area and your heat, the heat you have in your area. Uh, they do not like to be buried below the crown, so make sure you keep them above the crown when you plant them. Every couple of two or three years, if you notice them getting kind of straggly and, and in the middle of the plant, they seem to be getting a little bit there's nothing in the middle it's kind of narrowing out you want to if it's kind of thinning out I should say I don't know how to put that in words thinning out you can in the spring go ahead and dig that up and pull off some sections and replant and just kind of keep it keep it wet you know keep things wet and and so that new plant can get started and remember to put them in some good soil good well-drained soil and put a little mulch you know, around it if you like but make sure you know you try to go to when you go to your local nursery next time ask for some hookera ask for the new varieties coming out and to just see what's out there because you will adore this plant uh, you will love it for all the colors that they're coming up with they're, they're every year they're coming out with new colors so we'll talk to you soon and make sure you put you add some hookera and hookerella in your landscape Take care.